Hey everybody, Nice Street Auto Plaza located in Mount Carmel, Illinois. Today we got a really low mileage 2011 Chrysler Town & Country. It's got the 3.6 liter V6. Guys, this thing has 43,000 original miles. It is a one owner bought here locally in our hometown. So we're gonna take you on a virtual tour, show you any dents, scratches, whatever you can say about this thing because we don't wanna waste your time or hours. Um, we're gonna point it out for you. So we're gonna start at the front end of this thing. It does have some nicks and scratches on the exterior of the body. Like I said, guys, it's a really low mileage car. It is a one owner. So we got some scratch, the scuffing in here, a little indentation in there, a little bubble right there. It's not a bubble, this is a spidering. Um, headlights, excellent shape. Uh, hood, nothing really to note on it at all. This piece of the trim down here is a little loose. That just needs to pop back in. We're gonna go down the driver's side first, guys. Um, this does have Michelins on it. They're right around 50% tread. Uh, rims looks like it'd be in pretty good shape. Uh, front fender, uh, maybe one rock chip right there, but nothing else to note. Driver's door, uh, no nicks or scratches really at all. There is some uh, tar right here. Guys, this is a stone go. Uh, passenger rear door, nothing really to note on it. There's one little bitty rock chip down there. Like I said, guys, we're gonna point it out. Uh, there's a little scratch right here, and a little scratch right there. Uh, rear quarter, I can kind of see, I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, there's a little ding right here, or indentation, I think. It's hard to see, but I'm gonna say, call it right to right there. Uh, going around the rear bumper cover, uh, we did, of course, we do have some scratching right here and down there. The deck lid, uh, there is one little dent right here. You guys can see it, it's right there. Like I said, the bumper cover, we do have some damage right here. Getting stuff in and out of the back end of this thing. Uh, coming around the back side of this bumper, uh, a little bit of spidering right here, a little scuff right here, a rock chip right there. This uh, passenger rear quarter, nothing to note on it. Um, tires back here are about 60%. These are 265, 65R17s and they're Michelins. Uh, passenger rear door, there's a slight indentation dent right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. it. Goes alongside of that. Front door, nothing really to note at all. Uh, they did hit some tar, like on the other side, just a little bit down in here. Tread, like I said, it's 50, 60% all the way around. Um, this fender right here, there's a slight little scratch right here. Really low mileage car, guys. I uh, drove this thing. Uh, it drives out perfect. Um, really nice unit. You can definitely tell it's got only got 40,000 miles. Um, we're going to go through the interior uh, front uh, door skins in good shape. The whole interior, everything's in good shape, actually. Power seats. Everything works as it should. Got your USB down there. Dash is intact. We've got a moonroof. We'll uh, turn all this on here in a minute when we start the car. All right, guys. Uh, second row here. Um, leather, like I said, everything's in good shape. Uh, carpet, everything like that's in good shape here. Uh, you do have your button here to push. It does close the, this door. You can do that up here on the uh, oh, right there by the lights or you can do it on your key fob also uh third row good shape nothing to note you got your dual tvs so i'm gonna go ahead and pull those down we're gonna put a movie in here in a second
driver's side, like I said, it's uh, same as the other. Really good shape. Of course, it does have the button here to close the door, or you can just pull the handle. This is the key, guys. Uh, you, like I said, you can do these side doors like this. I don't know what I just did. That's upside down. Sorry. It's the other side. So um, you can do it with your key fob. Close it. Here's the trunk lid. Here's this side. And we'll go to the stow mode. This is all your things, all electronic. I should have done both, but uh, they both work as they should. Oops, I was supposed to put that down. So make sure you put number one, pull that so that folds up inside the thing. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna go back to normal. So press normal, like takes it back up. So before you press these things, don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, you can do the right side, the left side, or both. We'll just do both and actually do it right. So you pull this thing, that folds down. Same with that. All right, now we're gonna stow them. Sorry about that. This can solid all the way across. All the, both those seats will go inside the floor. You won't see them at all. Um, like I said, you can carry a lot of stuff in this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these down right now because I'm gonna turn the TVs on here in a minute in case I need to get in there or push anything. Um, you can press that or you can do it here too. If you press the right one, yeah. Like I said, guys, um, very clean. Driver's front. It's a minor little bit of wear right here, but not much. Like I said, really nice vehicle. Just has some few bruises on the outside. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start it up for you. You can see right now it's got 43, 433 on the miles. Uh, it just had a current service in it. So, good to go. This thing does have automatic start also. So, no check engine lights, anything like that. Only light on right now is my uh, seatbelt light, which I don't have currently on. Um, I'm gonna do a rev test for you so you can watch the RPMs. Extremely quiet. Like I said, guys, uh, I just took this thing on a pretty long uh, test drive. Um, it drove out great. So the only issue I would say, um, let me look outside real quick. The only issue I could say, negative to say about this thing, would be whenever somebody aligned it, um, the, that would probably be straight, right about right there. See how the steering wheel's kind of turned a little bit this way? Uh, when next time it gets aligned, somebody needs to turn that back. Uh, not a big deal at all. Uh, it, like I said, it runs and drives just like it's got 40,000 miles on this thing. Um, we're gonna keep on going through the electronics. Uh, we'll start with your windows. There's that side. There's that side. There's your big window. Oops, I got the one. So that's uh, right here. You can press that and it'll close that door. And we'll do that window. Oops, wrong one. 
All right, all windows are currently working as they should. We're gonna do the mirrors, good to go. Passenger side, good to go. Um, this thing is loaded up, guys. I think it's got rear heated seats also. Um, those doors do close. You can see I turned that on, so you got rear heated seats back here. All right, we're gonna keep on going. So, um, cruise control over here, it all works as it should. You have things behind here, you control the uh, stereo. Which I don't know what I'm doing there. There's your volume. That's what I'm doing it right here. So. Really good stereo system. I'm gonna um, I'll go ahead and reverse camera. Works as it should. Uh, navigation. Go to map. Here's your maps. Well, everything works as it should. And I'm gonna go down here and go ahead and stick this. This is your DVD down here. So I'm not a, honestly perfectly sure how this correctly works. So I'm just gonna try it. It all works. We had it when we were detailing and doing it, but I'm not perfect on how to make it work. Uh, dual climate control up here. Uh, you got your heated steering wheel. Uh, it gets hot real quick. Um, AC, you know, everything you need up here. Auto. I'm going to show you each one of these do work. So all fan speeds work as they should. Uh, what else we got? This thing's got almost everything. Okay, let's go up here to the uh, sunroof. Sunroof work, works as it should. Um, up here also you can uh, pop the hatch. Uh, that's the passenger side door. Uh, I think you can turn the kids off there where they can't open up those doors on that one. Um, these lights, I have no idea how they turn on. push it. Oh, pretty cool. So lighting all works as it should. You got some remotes if needed for your garage doors. Um, moving on. So this instrument cluster here is your hands-free. Uh, it'll control any of your stuff in here. And we do have one tire pressure uh, that's not showing. Um, so it'd be the monitor. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, over here you got your auto lights, your dimming for front and rear. Um, here's your rear vents. So, let's see if you can watch that back window. See how they open. You can see it on the side or not, it's hard to see how it's open. So I'm gonna close them now. So everything does work. Um, I'm not hearing this. Okay, I've got the uh, stereo on right now. It's, uh, it's a kid's movie. Hello. So, I'll go back here and show you that they both are working. Both are working currently. Uh, everything's good to go on the TVs. So you flip those up afterwards. <laughs> Alrighty guys, uh, what else have I missed? Uh, right down here you got economy uh, for better fuel mileage. You do have a 110 volt uh, power outlet in the back and this is track control. Um, like I said, down here is your DVD player. Uh, there may be a remote in here somewhere. There's uh, headphones and stuff like that in here too. Um, 12 volt down here, some more storage. 
Uh, we'll go underneath the hood. I think I've got it all, guys. These things have so many options that um, hopefully I pressed them all. They should have front heated seats too, so I didn't know where those were at. Oh, um, there's your heated seats there. Front, front and rear heated seats. Heated steering wheel. And you lock the rear too out for their controls. Extremely clean. It's got a low car battery. We're gonna do a little recap, guys. Uh, we got a 2011 Chrysler Town and Country. It's got the 3.6 liter V6, uh, 43,000 original miles. This is a one owner local car bought here at our local dealership. Uh, to come take a test drive, we're located at 800 West 9th Street in Mount Carmel, Illinois. Uh, give us a call with any question at 618 450 2600. Again, 618 450 2600. Visit us on the web where you can see this car fax of this vehicle and also the uh, video at 9thstreetautoplaza.com. Again, 9thstreetautoplaza.com. I hope this uh, video helped your uh, buying experience and you guys have a wonderful day.